Riders, welcome back to Sands Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes. And today I'm with pro mountain biker Ben Moore, and he is a fellow Shawby sponsored rider. And we're going to talk rubber. Riders, welcome back to Stan's Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes, and today we're with professional mountain biker and all-round legend, Ben Moore. Welcome to the channel, mate. Too kind. Thanks for having me. And he is a fellow Shawby sponsored rider, and we're going to talk rubber, because he's a pro rider, he's been riding his whole life, and I think there's some things maybe we can learn from you. So Ben, let's first talk about what rubber would you recommend for a new e-bike rider? Good question. Um, I guess the main thing comes down to the terrain you're riding, but there's a bit of a go-to setup that I would do specifically on an e-bike, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. Okay, so which is that? So, to start with, I would go for exactly what I've got on the front here, which is a Magic Mary Ultra Soft Compound 2.4, so this is for standard bikes, not plus bikes or anything like that, and it's a super gravity casing. I go for the super gravity because it's just more puncture resistance, it's more protection for the kind of riding that we are doing up in the mountains here. That suits me perfectly and I think everyone should be on one of those. And what about the back? Now for the back, I would not advise necessarily to copy what I have done on the rear here. This isn't a go-to, this is quite specific to riding in Spain and Sam and I were talking about this off camera. This is the new Big Betty and I have fallen deeply in love with it for riding out here. One is protection, two is grip, and three is just the security and knowing how much you can lean on the tire in awful conditions such as dry rocks that are just over and over again. Now I know for the viewers watching this, they don't have just rock, rock, rock. Maybe you get a bit of mud, which is why I would say on advice for a new e-biker, go Magic Mary Ultra Soft Compound Super Gravity Front and do the same on the back but keep it a soft compound, just a slightly harder compound and it will just last a bit longer under the load of torque from the e-bike and the extra weight of yourselves. Yeah, it's it's funny because Ben didn't like the Big Betty when we were talking in Switzerland and I love the Big Betty, it's my go-to, but I'm a fanboy. <laughs> so I did what he did and now, but for, for winter in Madrid, it's, it's kind of wet, a bit slippery, I've got a Magic Mary 2.4 ultra soft front and a soft back. As a question I've got for you, 2.4, 2.6 and why? So for me, I would go 2.4. I don't see the, like, the essentialness to adding width to a tire. At the end of the day, all we're doing when we add tire width is creating more friction. More friction means you're gonna go slower. Yes, you're gonna get more grip, but at the end of the day, we're looking for that fine balance between grip and speed and I think it sits at around 2.35, 2.4. 2.6 for me is a bit too much. It's interesting because I was riding a 2.6 and then I did my research and all the EWS riders were on 2.4, everyone pretty much. So I went to 2.4, obviously, I have to copy. And what I found was I was like, I could dissect the trail. It was just a bit faster the bike, a bit turning faster. It's less comfortable. You're getting more feedback from the trail. Like that 2.6, I think works as a little compression as well. Like it's your first point. And I felt like I had a bit more grip and it gave me, but 2.4 is way better, I reckon. But maybe if you're looking for a bit more comfort, 2.6 could, could go there as well. Yep. And tell me about inserts. Do you recommend it? Yeah, so I definitely recommend inserts on e-bikes and a lot of people will run them on the rear like yourself and not the front. Am I right in saying that? You don't have it on the front? I don't have it on the front, no. For me, I do. And again, it comes down to that specific riding terrain that you're on. For me, riding out here, my style of riding is not smooth. I'll be the first one to admit that. It's aggressive, it's harsh. I make a lot of mistakes, but I like powering my way through things. And I do have a Kushkor in the front as well. Yeah. Okay, so you were saying in different riding conditions, you change your tire setups. So what would you be doing, let's say if you're doing it like a downhill race, what tire setup would you be, what tire pressure and all that? Okay, good question. So for example, let's take EWS, e EWS E, yep. um, which is timed runs on downhill sections. So that's the bit that we're gonna focus on. Let's not worry about the intervals. 
Um, I would go for as soft as possible. So I would take the Big Betty off. I'd replace that with a Magic Mary Ultra Soft compound. Really? I would. Now, you've got to bear in mind this is an Ultra Soft compound. It's not designed specifically to go on there. I did this during EWSE this year and I felt great on it. It gives yeah. you that more suppleness, loads more grip, but after two days of racing, done. I I'd ruined it. And that is not the tire's fault. It's the extra load and torque that's coming from the weight of the bike and, and the rider. Yeah. I did see that Danny Hart is riding that setup. Ultra soft front and back. So Ben He's Moore- He's only about this big, isn't he? So Ben Moore and Danny Hart cannot be wrong, can they? <laughs> like to think not. <laughs> okay. Um, for me, obviously, you know, these tires aren't cheap and I've been with Shawbia now about a year, year and a half, and I was buying my tires. And so it was something, Ultra Soft was something I wasn't really that keen on because they weren't lasting that long. What type of grip level more do you think in a percentage are you getting from a soft to an Ultra Soft? Oh, Come on, Benny boy. I like to put a number on it. Or oh, just like, a, okay. like, just like, you know, like how much harder do you think you can push? I reckon there's, let's just go with a base figure of around about 10% increase in grip and friction going from soft to ultra soft. I would agree. And I think that you don't notice when you go to ultra soft, but I think you notice when you go back to soft. Very interesting. Yeah, because yeah. when I went to ultra soft, I was like, eh, it's not, I don't, I don't feel it. But then I went back to soft because I went back to a 2.6 because they don't do a 2.6 in ultra soft, I don't think yet. And I, then I noticed it, and now I'm ultra soft the whole time. And I reckon, you can say as well, but I reckon that it's probably it's probably wearing like 50% faster. So it's 10% grip, more grip, and 50% faster where I would put it. That's a, I don't know if I'd go as far as 50%, but it's definitely towards that figure yep. in, term of, in terms of raw speed. Yeah, 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 nice. Okay, so that was your race setup, but if you were a new rider and you just wanted to go do some normal riding, I know that's hard to just say normal riding, but what would you buy with your own money? Great question, because at the end of the day, this is a high-end product. It is great value, but at the same time, it does come with a big price tag, which we all know. Um, now, if it was myself, I would actually just come down one step on the grip level. So the softs are gonna last longer than ultra soft. That's just scientific fact it's obvious yep. so you're going to get better value for money if you go to the soft now this is bear in mind i'm just saying about you going out and having fun with your mates in the woods it will do you perfectly and it will last a long time if you go into the race and you're against someone that's of equal standard knees on ultra soft or she then obviously they're going to be faster yeah definitely definitely okay so we got all that from ben i'm going to put my two bobs in i'm going to say if you are a new rider and you're not super worried about speed and grip, and you're more worried about how long those tires are gonna last, eddy currents all day long. I would because agree. Because they last, I did 2000 Ks on a set of eddy currents, and they've still got more. I found the eddy currents maybe had about 10% more, less grip than a soft Magic Mary. So like 20% less grip than an ultra soft, yeah, you know, more or less. And I also felt that I had to run lower tire pressure because I was getting a fair bit of feedback. But man, those tires last a long time. And uh, what, and, and one thing we were saying, how many punches you had? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about this off camera. So I've been with Schwalbe, I think five years now, and I have not had five punches. I think it's four and it might have even only been three. Three punches in five years of riding bikes. Now bear in mind, I ride bikes every day, whether it's, downhill, e-bike, whatever it is. It's crazy. It's I, crazy. I've been like a year and a half and I I did one, but that was on a sharp rock and that would have happened with any tire. But yeah, it's amazing. So just quickly, let's talk about the sidewall because sure we changed all the labeling last year. So we've got a super trail, we've got a super gravity and we've got a super downhill. So you, what you'd be going super downhill and super gravity What's, what do you feel? Do you feel much different in that, in weight or in performance? Yeah, so there's a, a roundabout, you could use the figure of around about 100 grams in between each one as yep. you're going up. Now the Super Trail is probably where I would advise your entry level riders and your guys that just wanna go out and have fun with their mates. Um, you will notice there's lighter on the bike, so you're getting a benefit there. 
However, if you come somewhere like this, where it's serious rocks, you wanna start thinking about super gravity, super downhill. It just gives a bit more support in the sidewall. It doesn't change the compound of the tire. The compound is still the same, but the sidewall stability, the rollability of the tire, that's where it starts to change a bit. But for entry level, super trail is just incredible. Nice one. Well, Ben, thanks mate. We're gonna go out for a ride now. And riders, if you have any questions about Shelby tires, hit me up. Or hit, me. Hit Ben up on Insta or Facebook. You know, I'm on YouTube and a little bit of Insta. Anyway, riders, thank you so much. And we're gonna see you next week.